Have you ever wondered why the iPhone's night mode sometimes takes like one second to capture an image in dark environment, but sometimes it takes even 30 seconds? Well, in this video, I wanted to discuss this topic and show you how it actually works, because it's not as apparent as you would expect. Anyways, this feature, the night mode, doesn't even work all the time. When your iPhone sees that you're in a bright environment, it doesn't even let you turn this feature on. The iPhone simply decides that you won't use the night mode and it's the end of story. I mean, it makes sense during bright light. You don't really need it, but you don't even have the option to decide, which I find pretty interesting. So like I said, in order to even use this feature, you have to be in somewhat dark environment. So you can naturally fake it using your palm or basically covering the camera lens to lower the brightness or exposure and to essentially trick the iPhone into believing it's in dark surroundings. So once this option is available, you swipe on the screen on the viewfinder and more options appear. One of them is our night mode. So clicking on the button shows you a slider. This slider lets you swipe all the way to the right to turn the feature off. The position in the middle is relying on the automatic detection. When this is on, not only your iPhone decides if you can use it or not, but also how much time the exposure will take. Basically, when you don't change anything, you relinquish control to the software that decides what's best for the photo based on current conditions. But sliding to the right allows you to somewhat decide the amount of seconds the exposure will take. And this again is based on your iPhone software and how much it lets you choose. I know this video is about the 30 seconds exposure and the night effect, but I'm getting there, trust me. So as mentioned, the amount of seconds you slide to differs. It can be one second, it can be two, it can be up to 30 seconds. The 30 seconds option is only available to you when you're in a really dark environment. I mean, generally speaking, taking 30 seconds to take a picture is in fact pretty long. So this will only be used when necessary. Only when you are in the absolute darkest environment you can be in. In another case, it will mostly use from like two to 10 seconds exposure to enhance your photo and bring more light and detail. So if you've been wondering how to manually apply this option, well, you can't. The only thing you can do is to move into a really dark spot during night and, and hope iPhone will give you the option. But also, I'm not sure if you actually want to use it. 30 seconds is a lot, so not only will this be kind of inconvenient, but during those 30 seconds, your hands have to be as stable as possible. You can't move your iPhone if you want to end up with the best shot possible. For these scenarios, it's best to use a tripod or some very stable stand for the phone. Otherwise, the photo will end up being blurry and unusable. So this is what I wanted to say in this video. I really wanted to explain how it works, how you can use it, and uh, how much Apple allows us to customize or change regarding photos and camera. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it. It really helps out a lot. For more content like this, stay tuned by subscribing to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. And as always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.